Welcome to step one of the 3D printing process from start to finish. The first thing that you are going to do is go into Tinkercad itself, which can be found on OCSB Central. If you can't find the thumbnail on the landing page, just type in Tinker or Tinkercad and you'll see the thumbnail pop up right here. I'm just going to click on the link. I'm accessing this as a teacher right now, so I will be signing in with Google. Once you're on your dashboard on Tinkercad, you're going to go on the left-hand side and click on Designs. The first thing that you'll notice are all of your previous designs, if you already have an account, on the top of your shelf. For today, because this is a start to finish from tinkering in Tinkercad to 3D printing on the printer, we're going to create a new project and we're going to click on 3D Design. Once you click on 3D Design, you'll be brought to your work plane. So for today, I am going to design a pretty simple sh shape or a pretty simple design that we are going to export and 3D print. So I am going to just design a nameplate. That maybe I can hang. going to group these and I'll create my name and it's going to say Julian. I'll change the color just so that I can see it. The color doesn't matter because the filament is the color that your design will come out of. And again, I'm just going to select and I'm going to group and I now have my design. The next part of the process is to export this design. So part one, we are going to export from Tinkercad and we are going to export it as a .stl file. Once I do that, I'm going to rename it Julian nameplate.stl. And stay tuned for part two where we now have to slice the file. 